Hi everybody, thanks for watching. I'm going to make some bonfire night, 5th of November, treacle toffee. So 12 ounces of butter, 8 ounces of black treacle, pound of dark brown sugar, and one can of condensed milk. That's not evaporated milk, condensed. So the first thing you do, so which I've done here so as not to bore you, is to bring it to the boil and simmer it, stir continually, should reach about 280F or until, I don't use a sugar thermometer, if you boil it for about 15 minutes you can see it change and it drips off the spoon there and if you just get a glass of cold water and stick it in there it virtually hardens immediately so you, you can tell when you've reached the right temperature you can see it's it won't go rock hard because it's like a, a fudgy toffee but um, that's perfect you don't need it my granny didn't have a sugar thermometer she made it for years so make sure you use black treacle the black molasses and I've just left the can there so that you can see it's actually thick is the milk it's not evaporated so it's a big thing in England making um, a bonfire night because uh, in 1605 Guy Fawkes tried to blow up James the First and the Houses of Parliament, so it's uh, fireworks and everything here. So I thought I'd just give you that bit of information as an ex-history teacher. So I'm just going to put this now into the tray and uh, leave it to set, and then um, I'll tip it out and chop it into squares, and I'll show you what it looks like then. So be careful when you're tipping it in because obviously it's molten and very good, full of calories, but if you only have it every 5th of November, you're not going to get fat. See you later. Right, so the treacle toffee has set and I've already chopped some up and put it into bags. But what I should have said was that um, on the recipe, use a shallow baking sheet, not an 8 inch square tin, because it, it, it's not shallow enough and the um, uh, the toffee is too thick and I should have said as well cut into squares just leave it for um, you know about 10 minutes when you've poured it into the tin and then you know just square it up otherwise when you try and get it out of the thing and you, and you chop it it will just chop into shards so here we go I've just got some um, just got some of these clear um, plastic bag uh, plastic bags here you can get them on the internet um, I'm just going to put the toffee in so you need a, sh a sharp knife and your rolling pin and hammer away and hopefully you'll get squares so just do one or two mm. no Some of it just drop into shards, but whoop. and I also should have said when you bring it to the boil, don't boil it until you've melted the sugar and the butter. Make sure all the crystals have gone, or um, it just make a good a good toffee. So you do that twelve pieces. There we go. Why is a lovely kitchen? Whatever. Um, this treacle toffee is uh, winging its way to America next week. So my granddaughter was born on the fifth of my American granddaughter was born on the fifth of November. And uh, her mommy and daddy are English, so they'll be having fireworks and uh, treacle toffee. Now, probably a bonfire, on which it's traditional to burn an effigy of Guy Fawkes. The conspirators I told you about who tried to bring down Parliament and James I and were hanged for treason, just to cheer you up. So, 
into the bag it goes. And out of that tray, I've got um, three, I'll probably get about six or seven bags. So lots of tree fruit topping. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some um, parking. So that will be my next YouTube thing that I'm going to upload. And that's another, like um, a treacly cake with the... Uh, um, pin meal in, oatmeal, so I'm going to make that because people like that for bonfire night as well. So, thanks for watching, enjoy your topping.